Salute, salute, YouTube channel, salute. So, we are, things are starting to unfold. Things are starting to unfold. Things are starting to be revealed, you know, about the biggest fight in boxing and why it's not happening, why it's not taking place. Um, if you didn't know, Terrence Crawford actually went live yesterday, last night, and he explained his side of the story. And it sounds like all the things that we've been saying have been true. They're not trying to play Terrence Crawford. He wanted to see, he wanted to have some clarification on his contract and how much money he's going to be making because he's taking no money guaranteed. And Al Heyman, on the other hand, is uh, basically trying to scam the dude, basically trying to run game. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you know, Terence Crawford, people try to you know call him you know not a you know a stupid businessman or you know just he doesn't he's not good with money or he's just he's you know he's not good with his career. And, you know, we've criticized him time after time after time. And now he's doing what, you know, he's doing his due diligence. And he's doing what a good businessman would do. And now we want to say, you know, now we want to criticize him for doing that. He's done everything we've asked. He literally took, he accepted no money down, uh, uh, no guaranteed money. You know, no guaranteed money. And the fact that people... Uh, uh, are still blaming him is ridiculous. He's trying to make the fight. You know, they both want to fight each other. But Uncle Al, Al Heyman, is clearly the problem. PBC is the problem, okay? They do not want to pay Bud any money. We now know that they were offered $50 million to fight, which is perfect. That fight is worth that much. Perfect. $25 million each. Boom. Gucci, you know, but uh, Al Heyman turned that down. He was advised to turn it down, or sorry, uh, 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 Errol Spence turned that fight down, turned that uh, offer down, you know, which is absolutely insane. That's the biggest payday either of them had, would have had, you know. It's just crazy that this fight could have happened, but Al Heyman is the one blocking it. Now, if he's not willing to pay any money, why not let the fight go um, go somewhere else? You know, if he's not willing to pay, he's not willing to lose anything, which he wouldn't anyway, because Terrence Crawford is now taking no money. You you, you know what? He messed up. At the end of the day, bro, he could have just showed him the books and still make a profit. You know what I'm saying? But he, he messed up his chance, bro, because look, Errol Spence, he needs to leave PBC, at least for this fight. You know, I'm not saying he hasn't been treated well before, but for this fight, he needs to leave um, and, and go somewhere else. And he needs to become a free agent because at the end of the day right now, Terrence Crawford is in the best position right now. He can go wherever he wants. He can get paid whatever he wants, you know. Um, and, you know, he can make any fight except, obviously, this one. Technically, because we got, you know, Al Heyman blocking everything that's trying to be done to make the fight. You know what I'm saying? So it's absolutely ridiculous that Al Heyman is destroying, that she destroyed the fight. You know, it's up to Errol Spence now. It's up to Errol Spence to really make a decision for his career, his legacy. Now, are you going to let your promoter destroy things? You know? Are you going to let your promoter destroy things? Or are you going to try everything in your power to make the fight happen? You know, $25 million each, and that's two. He said two people, two, two organizations were willing to pay that. You know, but Al Heyman said no. He said he's not letting anyone touch this fight. And in my opinion, he's he's holding um Errol Spence back at that point. You know, I don't think they. I'm not sure how much they're willing to pay Errol Spence. I'm sure they're relying on pay per views. Um, but this fight does about six hundred to eight to nine hundred um pay per views. I think it does, in my personal opinion, six hundred, and that's good. That's good for today. You know, and if and if they, if they do anywhere near that, that's successful. I don't care what anybody says. You know, um, but th they they should have made that fight, man. Um, we got uncle, uh, we got we got Al Heyman, you know, blocking the fight. It, it, it's it's clear now. And if anyone doesn't want to believe that, they they still want to blame Bud. You know, you you simply just don't like him. Just be just be truthful, be real to yourself. You don't like the man, and that's why you want to blame him for everything. You know. But it's unfortunate, man. Um, I'm going to put a little clip. You guys can hear what you said. But anyways, like and subscribe for more content.
Long Night Sports. Peace. Hey, bro, look. Listen. You know what I mean? I got this company that's willing to give us $25 million a piece. Guaranteed. What's up? What you going to do? He like, $25 million. What about the back end? I'm like, dude, listen. If they make their money back, then we get 80-20. You know what I mean? It's simple math. I said, man, we got people all buying the, buying, I mean, still in the fight. <clears throat> they got the fire sticks. He laughed. He like, man, I got a fire stick too. I'm like, see? I'm like, man, ain't nobody really buying, you know what I mean, papers used no more. I said, man, we get this upfront money and we good. It's a no brainer. You know what I mean? But one thing about me and the, well, the different, I would say the difference between me and the difference between Spence is I'm really my own boss now, and he's not. He got to go through Al. He got to go through, you know what I mean, his team and ask them if he can do certain things that I don't have to no more. Yeah, I'm a, I might have had to when I was with Top Rank because I was signed to Top Rank, and they was my promotional company. So, of course, I had to go to top rank and ask them to get me this fight or do this for me or do that for me because I was obligated to do certain things by their standard because I was signed to them. But now that I'm a free agent and I'm free to do whatever I want, I'm the one sitting at the table. I'm the one that's, that's you know, talking directly to these, these high individuals. Errol Spence not talking to 